Today, guys, we come up against my biggest nemesis, Curbs. I bloody hate the things, especially at Imola. My God, if anyone knows me from the F1 days, I can't tell you the amount of spins I've had at this circuit. I, I really enjoy Imola. I really do enjoy it. However, it has a tendency to completely bite you on the arse. And I hate it for that reason. And well, the Super Formula car feels good here. Um, I jumped straight into a race. Very little practice as I kind of always do. First race of the week. And uh, yeah, started to build up a bit of confidence. Oh, yes, unfortunately, as I just said, this track bites you on the arse and quickly humbles you. So this was an open setup race. We started um, last of the qualifiers because I was just worried about safety rating as well because my safety rating is very low here. So yeah, really, the aim of the game was to keep it clean and build some confidence throughout the race. Um, how wrong it all went. Let's go. The track temp is 27. The air temp is 25. Here we go. Celsius. 26 laps. Heads up, get ready. Go! Mars made a great start. Nice and easy in here. Come on. On your right. Still there. Right side's clear. Mr. Reagan. Car left, clear left. Left side, clear left. Incident in Tosa. Good avoidance. <laughs> Good start, mate. Nice one. Remember, we're here for one reason. <laughs> Skittish there. And it seemed like it was a spin, I don't think anyone actually got caught up in it. Damn it. I'm just there, there, I think, from the dirty air. B9. Try and feel my way into this race. Currently positive IR. One, to be exact, if we finish where we are. Rudy's not too far behind, though. It is so sketchy through there. Hold my breath every single time for that chicane. I think Paul does as well. <laughs> Need to be careful on that outside curb because the leader is just very, a, very easy to lose it in there. The right rear is like to slip and spin. Sector one is 0.6 off the pace. Right. Oh, got a bit out of shape there. Good move, mate. He's a sensible lad. 
Hi Paul, if you're watching this back. <laughs> Paul's a uh, staple of the Stuffy community and the F1 community Slow in, on iRacing. Keep the inside line covered. Always good racing against him. We'll be warned about track limits. Just one off track. Oh my god, I said one off track. See, I got too confident. Car left. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Sergio was using his push to pass. Lost seven seconds there. Wow. P12. Come on, man. Smooth is fast. But we need fast right now. Long way to go. With that chicane, anything can happen. Front, oh, we ran a bit wide behind. Four seconds. All right, let's drop back a little bit. Sergio's had a spin behind. Catching these two. Oh my god, how was that on off track? We've just cut the track. A little right confused side. there. Right side's clear. Obviously cut it too much, but still. Here behind. Would have got a slow down, I think, for that. Incident in Tosa. We think it might Ooh. be Gerber. So I told you, incidents. Tough round here. Looks like Paul and Rudy have slowed down a li little bit as well. Gaps closed to them. They must have gone side by side. Oh, it looks like Fabian's in the pits, actually.
He's pushed it past it. Should be a simple enough overtake. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. P9. Well done, mate. That was great. We're finding some pace. Finding some. All the while trying to keep it within the track limits. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 0.8. Rudy's had a bit of an issue some way, he's had a wobble. I do feel like I've got to brake so early though in this car compared to any other open wheel car that I've raced around Imola. I didn't need third gear there. Ah, that was a bit naff, that corner. I'm sure some of them in front will still have incidents before the race is ended. Hope it's not me. Oh, I, I went in there a little bit too hot. It was good kind of using the brake to turn the car through turn one and two. Not anymore. You got plenty of fuel. Yeah, so that happened. Seems that I wasn't the only one, but we'll get to others in a second. But I want to play a game first, guys, of Spot the Difference. Now, I'm going to show you three laps in a row. Lap 7, lap 8, and then, of course, lap 9, where it all came to a very sharp and quick end. But we're going to look at the same corner, and I want you guys to tell me, what's the difference? Now, just going to pause it there for a second. Got a difference? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Right, you done that? Right, let's have a look at the actual incident in itself. Well, there's only really kind of one thing that I can see that I did differently here compared to the previous laps. And that's that I was slightly wider on entry to the actual chicane. And I was slightly wider this apex than I was on the previous two laps as we slow it down. 
but we're still kind of tight to the apex and the, all the weight is on the left hand side of the car but it seems to be that the car jiggles more and just loses grip on that exact same section but for some reason this time around i i don't know the car just seems to to lose itself um it's just yeah i'm not entirely sure what the deal is there i think my angles are all exactly the same it's very very minutely different compared to the uh previous laps but I mean, the left wheel was over this drain pipe at exactly the same time, and oh, this one's over the rear, so the angles are the same, but for some reason it just just went. Just went. Very odd. Very odd. Maybe there was more temperature in the tyre slightly because of the moments where I was slightly wider of the apex. I mean... I can only think that it's very, very fine margins um, that has caused this to occur. Something that isn't quite visual to the eye. Maybe I can't see it. Maybe you guys can't see so yet. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. But this track once again, this poxy curb once again. I've done this, I think, in the W12, in the W13, in F3. This curve just but it felt controlled it felt good on there it felt there was grip so i don't i don't get it i don't get it but it made me feel slightly better slightly better as i said before i wasn't the only one who lost it on the curbs here in this race at imola i wasn't the only one who lost it on this exact curb because first we lost sergio who was directly behind us And then we lost Fabian, who is in P3. But wait, there's more. We then lost Tobias, who is in P5. But the fourth victim claimed by the same corner in the same race. Unbelievable. But wait. There's more, because that corner had a competitor in the form of the last corner, but claimed three victims. Uh. Damn. So yeah, guys. Moral of the story here is stay off the bloody curves. <laughs> so here are the classified results, and well, God, I am walking on a tightrope, aren't I? Jesus. 0.06 I rating lost, 1.07. Um, <laughs> so close to losing my A license, man. Uh, 25 IR lost. That's not bad in the grand scheme of things obviously it was a quite a high strength fulfilled 3.5k only 15 of us um but yeah considering paul there finished in p4 um primarily just from keeping it clean just from keeping it clean he was able to do what i was not only three incident points compared to my six um so yeah oh, guys honestly it's not sure how i feel about this week i love him and and I feel like I will be back here again, but maybe when I've got a bit more safety rating, because you need some in the bag here this week, <laughs> in my opinion. Feels great to push at, but you can see there that it will just bite you on the arse. And I feel like there's not really many things that you can do different, and it will still do that to you the next lap. So, of course... Uh, Fuel differences and, and fine margins probably with tyre temperatures, I think. Maybe a, a gust of side wind or something, which we I, I so often overlook. I so often overlook the direction the wind is is going in um, on uh, an eye racing. Uh, that probably become more relevant to me and prevalent to me when um, it's uh, got rain and we've got weather, weather radar and stuff. But at the moment, I forget that's even a thing. So yeah, maybe, maybe something like that I got caught out with. But um, yeah, it would have been the same for the whole race, wouldn't it? Um, it wouldn't have been moving so much. I don't know. But yeah, 
Once again, let me know in the comments below what you think about that incident. Um, let me know how you've got on here this week. Um, did you end up like myself and the other poor souls <laughs> in this race? Because um, I think a few of us are going to end up in that barrier and that corner is going to claim a few. I think it may give the bus stop at Watkins Glen a run for its money this week. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to hit like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and hopefully the next race I do, I make it to the end.